breakfast. Very simple. With some chai tea. Alira said she's not ready to eat yet. So I told her to come over when she is ready to eat. Good morning guys, Alira is just over there watching Sesame Street right now. Um, I told her to come over when she is ready for breakfast, so she is not here eating breakfast with me currently. I haven't taken a bite of my breakfast yet because I figured I'd start the vlog before I do so. Um, so today is Saturday for us, um, even though you guys watch these on Wednesdays. <laughs> Uh, so today I was thinking we would just go to the park by our house, um, just kind of keep it another easy, relaxing day. Luke could kind of join us, but she is having a hard time right now. I'm not sure. Do you want something to watch on here? What? Is that what you want? What? Okay. So, Alira and I decided to go out back for a little bit. I was letting the dogs out and she wanted to go out and I was like, sure, that's fine. And um, she got stung by a yellow jacket, which I thought was a bee, but it's not. So I just popped onto my Instagram stories and just educated everyone on the difference between a yellow jacket and a bee and a paper wasp. <laughs> so <laughs> they all look different. <laughs> um, if it's smooth bodied, if it's like a smooth bodied animal that's flying around and it looks like a bee, it's a wasp. It's in the wasp family. Um, if it's furry, then it's a bee. And bees typically don't sting because they die right away. And I thought, oh, maybe the yellow jacket dies too. No, they don't die after they sting. Their stinger stays in. So um, when she got stung, I thought the stinger was in there, but I think it was venom or whatever because it was kind of white looking in there. Like, um, kind of looked like pus almost. It was weird. Um, so I think it was the venom that came from its stinger, so. And yellow jackets are usually very aggressive, so like when you're outside eating or whatever and you see this black and yellow thing flying around, it's a yellow jacket, typically, <laughs> not a bee, um, unless it's furry. So yeah, um, didn't know that, learned a lot today. Uh, thanks to my daughter getting stung once again. <laughs> um, and they do say sting and not bite, so. Um, even with the paper wasps, which is what got her that very first time, um, it said stung, so maybe paper wasps don't bite, they still sting. Maybe they have a stinger that is um, a permanent stinger as well. So, yeah, they said the paper or the yellow jacket stinger is smooth and not jagged, so that's why it stays in. So, yeah, it, it didn't even die after it stung her. <laughs> She is hanging out on the sofa. I got her, I did the same thing we did last time. I put on some vinegar, baking powder, paste type thing on her hand. We washed it right away. And then I put some after bite on her and I gave her a little bit of Tylenol, not a full dose of Tylenol, but I gave her some Tylenol just cause um, if there's like some burning sensation that is coming up from the venom, so. Poor girl, I feel so bad. She was crying, holding her hand out, and I saw it swelling up, and I was like, damn, <laughs> again? I think what we're gonna do is we'll make a picnic lunch, even though I read that, <laughs> that um, yellow jackets are your picnic friends, but <laughs> hopefully maybe, you know, they won't be as bad down there, who knows. But I'll just make a picnic lunch. We'll walk down to the park and we can, Eat our little picnic lunch if she wants, and she can go play if she wants.
well, we're home now, so <laughs> it wasn't too bad. It was nice to have the place to herself and she could kind of just get whatever she wanted from the sand toy box and all that kind of stuff. But she was kind of freaked out about everything. So <laughs> maybe we should have just stayed home, but it was fun. It was something different to try and do like a picnic type lunch there at that park instead of out in the grassy field. I don't know if we've ever done like a full on picnic lunch. I don't think we have, not that I know of. Anyway, I was trying to convince her to maybe come lay down and start to rest. So maybe I can get her to do that. Mama, cutie! So my bestie just dropped off the sweetest gift. So I'm gonna show you guys, but let me give Lara her. She's laying in our room. The lighting. My bedroom is a disaster again. I haven't made my, ba my bed in days. Look at all this clean laundry. Oh, look at all this clean laundry I need to fold and put away. It is a mess in here and I haven't cleaned the bathroom in I don't know how long. Look at, here is Alex's um, dirty hamper, my floor. Hilaria is just living her best life right now. Okay, I'll be back. So, she got me some CoverGirl shadows, and I've always wanted to try CoverGirl eyeshadows because I hear that some of them are like really buttery and like soft and decent. Oh, Alex is home. And these are so nice. I think it's called Zenning Out. And then a little Target gift card and some matching socks. And she got me a little card. All right, guys. Alira is finally laying down. I think she's asleep. Poor girl. So Alex is here, but he's not. He, he He's on call. So I think what I'm going to do is do the dishes in the kitchen and start on <laughs> that pile of laundry, I think. So even though I want to take a nap.
is all of Alex's laundry. I'm like, um, sir, are you running out of shirts? There's a lot of shirts there. So that's all his laundry that he's gonna put away. He got me this new quilt for my birthday that I put on the bed and it looks so cute. I love it. I want maybe some like pinky lavender pillows to go with it. This is so pretty. All right guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here because my battery's dying. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you found it entertaining. As always, live life in full bloom and I'll see you later. Bye.